What up Sailor Senshi? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I have some brand new Mega House products. These are both brand new Petite Charas from the Petite Chara line. You can see a ton of these little adorable creatures behind me and I wasn't going to start collecting these and then I started to and now I can't stop and they keep on releasing new ones and I just I just can't help myself. So I hope y'all don't mind. I decided to do a video where I review the brand new ones that just recently came out. I have two different ones here and I don't remember which ones these are. So let's go ahead and open up these boxes. All the Mega House Petit Chattos, if you buy them brand new, they will come in boxes that look like this with the Mega House branding on the front. And then it'll tell you what they are down at the bottom. And you'll see that it is a Sailor Moon one but um, it'll take me a while to translate the rest because I'm not very good at my hiragana and katakana. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these and find out what we got. Okay, so we have two different ones here. First off, I have the Petite Chara, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, Neo Queen Serenity, and King Endymion. So this is a pairing of two of them and they're so cute together. I can't wait to open these and make sure that they look awesome. And then I also got the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Yukata Special Guardians of the Outer Planets. And these are the um, special like limited edition ones that came out just a couple of months ago and they finally started shipping like maybe last month, I believe, but I hadn't had a chance to open them yet, so I'm opening them today for you. So I'll go ahead and start with the Neo Queen Serenity and the King Endymion ones. Uh, these are the international editions with the little choking hazard thing on the back and the Toei sticker on the front, but you'll notice with this packaging it's a very pretty like coral pinkish color. One side has King Endymion on it, and then the other side has uh, Queen Serenity on it, Neo Queen Serenity. The inside apparently comes with, I don't know, is that a postcard? I think it's a postcard. And each of the sides has pictures of the Petit Chara, and that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and see what's on the inside. Oh, well, it's not necessarily a postcard. It apparently it doesn't have a backing to it but I will show you what it is anyway. Is it a sticker? No, it's a picture. Is it just a picture? It's just a picture. Well, I have a printed picture of Neo Queen Serenity. Ain't that cute? That's so cute. So I'll put that to the side. Petite Chattas always come with a ton of tape around the edges. I guess to hold them in place because, you know, one piece of tape just ain't enough with Mega House here. Luckily, I don't have to put these together because that would take a long time and putting petite charas together is really annoying. All right, so before I put these on their display, I would like to point out a few different features of Neo Queen Serenity and King Endymion. So these are very small. I'll get some close-up video for y'all, but the paint in particular on Neo Queen Serenity is gorgeous. I love her dress. Her dress is very pretty iridescent white. And then her crown is as well, it's an iridescent gold. And her bow is an iridescent light pink. So they're all very, very shiny. Her, her hair is similar to a couple of the other versions up at the top. I believe Princess Serenity is like this too, where her ponytails turn kind of transparent at the end, uh, which I really like. I like that kind of ombre feel. And her bangs have a nice uh, ombre look to them too. It's like a nice airbrushing. Her eyes and everything look really good. I don't see any defects or any flaws or anything like that. So they look very cute. I like, she looks awesome. Now here's something kind of weird. I know she can stand on her own because she's wearing her dress, but she came with one of the little backings that you s usually stick in their head and then you stick on a display, but she doesn't have a hole for a backing. Why don't she have a hole? That's really weird. So maybe they just sent an extra, but I mean, I don't mind because I'm just going to use her on her stand because her dress will let her stand like that. I wonder if King and Demion. Yeah, King and Demion does need a stand, and luckily he has the hole in his head on the back for the stand, so for the little display. So that's good. All right, so moving on to King and Demion, we have him in his purple tux. It's very cute. He has a cape. The cape doesn't have any paint defects. Oh, there's a little teeny tiny defect on mine. Nothing to worry about. Um, he's a little bit more matte. He doesn't have like any shininess to him, and, except for the little uh, gold pendants that he's wearing. 
and the inside of his cape is a little bit of like a luminous blue. There's a bit of white paint from his mask on one of his bangs. Not too much of an issue there, so I'm not too concerned. So let's go ahead and stick his display on. As with all of the petite shadows, you can move their heads around, so you can twist them back and forth, which is nice. I like that they're movable. And then these two come with a really cute little pink stand for the two of them together. I like the stand, it's very cute. It's so cute. All right, and there we have, oops, no, come back. <laughs> Petite shadow, or a pain in the ass. All right, so Endymion's kind of floating. I'll have to fix him, but there they are together. They look so cute, adorable. I like them. All right, they're cute. I'm going to move on to the next ones. So these are the outers in their yukata. Now, with this display, you do have a window display, so you can keep these in the box and be able to see all of them. However, they do have a little bit of a plastic sheeting over them, so they do have some reflection going on. You can't see them super clear, but uh, the box itself is very pretty. It looks kind of like a yukata, honestly, um, like a very trendy yukata, but it's got flowers all over it. There's like a little cutout on both sides, and then the front, of course, has the toy sticker. The back has the age sticker, and then we also have some cute little photos of them in front of places in Japan. <laughs> That's cute. I've actually been to a couple of places. I've been here and here. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Okay, so I now have them all open, so I'll go ahead and go through each of them and describe them a little bit and tell you what I like. Uh, so first off, we have Usagi in a hot pink yukata, and she also has little flowers on here that look like they match her yukata. She does not have transparent hair, so I feel like that might just be for the royals and not just for their like normal forms for Usagi and Chibi Moon. Uh, and overall, she's really cute. She has a rose in her hair, it looks like. And I am using Chibi Meister on Instagram and her reference information because she did a lot of background research to figure out which uh, flowers each of them ha have on their yukatas. So she has an Amaryllis Belladonna, it looks like, on her yukata and her stand. And then we have Chibi Moon. And Chibi Moon looks super cute. She also does not have the transparent hair, and hers is a bit of a lighter pink color. Uh, but she has roses on hers, I believe. Yeah, that looks like little pink roses. Uh, but hers is a really cute yellow yukata, and it matches the bow in her hair, and she's got a cute little ice cream and her tongue sticking out. I think she's one of my favorites. She's adorable. Next, I will talk about Haruka. So Haruka has more of a... I would say a male style yukata, so hers is not bright and floral or anything, and she does have the hat on, it's very cute. And then the flower on hers is the white lily on both the stand. Well, actually it's just on the stand because she doesn't have a floral yukata, of course. Next is Michiru, so Sailor Neptune. She has this pretty teal yukata on, and then she's also holding a fan just like Usagi. Uh, she has a really big bow in her hair, and it's very, very cute. She looks very stylized, very pretty. She's adorable. Now, she has plumeria on hers, on her stand and her yukata, as well as the fan, too. Who's next? Uh, let's talk about Hotaru. Hotaru! Sailor Saturn. She has her nice, pretty, long, dark purple hair. She has a really pretty hair uh, flower in her hair. I don't remember what that is. A dahlia, maybe? Uh, and then she has, what are these? Forget-me-nots on her stand as well as her yukata. And she also has a pretty purple yukata on it that matches the stand as well. And then last but certainly not least, one of my favorite Sailor Senshi is Sailor Pluto or Setsuna. So Setsuna has this uh, brown, like a dark color yukata, and then she also has irises on hers, on her stand as well as the yukata. She has a really pretty dark flower in her hair, and then she is also holding a little purse or a little bag in her hand. I forget what those are called in Japanese, so somebody tell me in the comments. As far as their hair is concerned, both Chibi Moon and Usagi have pink roses in their hair, uh, and then we have yeah, I was right about the Dahlia with Sailor Saturn or Hotaru. Uh, it looks like Setsuna has a hibiscus in her hair, 
And I think that's all of them. Yeah, so that's everybody. So that is my review and unboxing of the new Petite Chattas. Let's see if I can hold them up without them falling all over the place. I recently discovered that my cats really like to play with these. So sometimes I come in here and they're mysteriously all over the floor. So I should probably find a display box to put all my Petite Chattas in so that they can't play with them and destroy them and lose them or eat them. Cause then I would have to clean up that poop. That'd be gross. Anyway. Let me know what you think. Comment below, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I hope that you will be back for my next video, which is coming up very shortly. So my name is Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. Jenny.